Hello, this is David Gamut from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to do the Goose Biot Calabatus. And this fly is an extremely uh, great fly for fishing calabatus. And there's a Goose Biot wrapped through this for the segmentation, and a little parachute post from Nick Flylon, and little split tails. And you can tie these in either kind of a, buck, a tan color or gray. And it kind of depends upon your calabasas that you have in your uh, lake or sometimes where the creek dumps into the lake. Real good patterns. The color can be pretty specific through a lighter color to a gray color. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take this guy out. I'm going to use a 11-10. 14. You can do those in 16s or 14s. This guy I put in the vise. And the thread we're using here today is a tan number 70 altar thread. First thing is when you tie this up is to make sure to leave a blank space behind the eye. Don't put any thread about one eye gap back. I want to have a little bit of a space there. So put some thread there, work the thread all the way to the back. And we're going to do a split tail, so I'm not going to cut the excess part of this. Let that thread hang so it's about even with the barb of the hook. For the tails, we're going to use some mayfly tails, medium done. And we're going to pull off four fibbits. We're going to pull right straight down four, pull those off. Okay, so we got our micro fibbits there. Now with the calabatus, they really have some long tails. So we want these tails to be about twice the length of the hook shank. Quite a bit, quite a bit longer than most mayflies. I kind of just angle the fibbits off to the side and take one wrap and just kind of come right up on top and bring those fibbits right up to the top. Take a couple wraps and we're going to pull this to the length that we need. Right about there. the thread all the way towards the front. Hold that straight up. Cut out the excess. I'm going to wind the thread straight back. Take the thread wraps out of that. Okay. Then you just take your thumb here and kind of push straight up and split the tails into two equal groups. Just like that. Thread up, cut that off. And just use that extra tag of thread to help split those tails. Okay, now we take our thread back to the back of the hook. Kind of want that thread to lay flat. And get that to hang right there. We'll go back just a little bit farther. Okay, now we're going to tie in the goose biot. So you can do either gray or tan. That's it's a stripped goose biot. It comes off the leading edge of the wing, and the wing would be like on a goose. There's a wing edge, and they strip that off the side of the wing. And when they strip that off, there's 
little biots, maybe looking like that when it's on the wing and then they open it up in different pieces. And you just take one of the end ones here. So that we have that. And I tie in the tip in at the back, wind the thread forward so that it's locked in there. And then I want to build up a little bit of a taper here so we have a thicker body towards the middle and thin towards the back end. Once we build up up that thread there we go we're going to use a rotary hackle pliers here real slick to help them wrap this right on the end takes about three to four wraps to get about the, eh, we got about five out of that one. And I just hold that, the goose strip up, capture that with the thread. Let go of that. Cut the excess off. And then we'll continue to wrap in that wrap that direction to help tighten that up. We get that segmentation of the Calbatus mayfly. Now it's time to put in the wing. And I'm going to use McFly lawn that comes in various lengths. You take like one strand of that. And we're going to take this one strand and actually cut that. We're going to divide this in half. So we get about a strand like that. We're going to bring it up from underneath the fly. And we're going to bring this thread just about, break it into thirds, one third back. Straddle the hook, hold the material straight up. And sometimes it split, uh, spreads out, just kind of gather the thread and kind of gather that back up. Do a few wraps in front, a few wraps in back. Then once you got a couple of those, then you can start to post it. Work your way up the post, just like that. I'm going to do a little dubbing in the back part here. I'm going to use uh, tan laser dub. It's got a little UV hue to it. Kind of add a little sparkle to it. I'm going to do a wispy amount here, not a whole lot. Very sparse. You can see about a few little pinch. Okay, now we're going to tie in our hackle. Saddle hackle here. And you kind of want to judge your distance here, kind of about uh, one and a half hook gap here, looking at it just extending beyond the point here. You can go maybe two hook gaps. It's with the parachute you're allowed that little bit extra length. Now you can tie these either with the fly actually has a, or the wing of the hackle has a curve to it and you can either tie that with the curve down that would make the 
fly kind of stand on the water like this or with it up like that. I tend to like to tie the hackle curved up and that allows that fly to ride really low in the water film. Either way, it's really not going to make that big a difference. Okay, tie it into the front. And we're going to be winding that. Capture that up front so we can wind around like that. Now that I got that in there, I do a little dubbing on the front here just to whisk the amount. Kind of hold that wing back. There we go. Take the thread towards the front. And before I wrap this around here, I'm going to put just a dab of head cement. right on the wing and allow that when we wind that hackle right into the set into that to hold it in. First wrap is going to be fairly high and then after that we're going to wrap down. This next wrap is as close to the shank as we can get it. About five or six wraps there. Then take the thread and hold that hackle straight out and kind of capture that, slide that right around and make sure to get it over the eye. Hold that material straight up. Grab the fibers, pull it back. Wind in front. Cut the excess off. I'll set up my whip finish. Grab that again. right in front. Sometimes you get a few stragglers there, it's no big deal, just cut them out. Stand that guy up. And we're going to put, Calabetus has a little bit of modeling on their wing, little dark specks on there. Just take a sharpie, touch it about three places there. It's a little mottled wing effect. And then the distance, you want this wing, you know, about the shank, length of a shank, and then cut it off. And that's our Goose Biot Calabatus. Again, thanks again. This is David Gammert from Dakota Angler and Outfitter.